Hey guys, welcome to Home Built, and this week uh, I'm here with Eddie, and we're going to have a crack at trying to fix the rear of his uh, Nissan Patrol. Okay, guys. So yeah, I'm here with Eddie today. So uh, Eddie, what's the issue here? Okay, so I've got a Nissan Patrol here, and a common issue with the GU Nissan Patrols is that with the weight of the spare tire. It cracks the door just about here. Essentially the main issue is that there's so much weight on the rear door that the vibrations are particularly going off-road causes it to crack. It's a really great design feature. So <laughs> let's get into it and see if we can fix this up. All right, so you can see here, here's where the real issue is. So first thing we need to do is uh, get in and start stripping everything off and get this window off so we can get in there and see if we can fix it. All right, so Eddie and I have been going backwards and forwards. We were looking at taking the window out, but uh, that's going to be a real pig. Eddie is not putting the, uh, the, the wheel back on again, so this damage should not in, uh, increase in the future. The main thing we're just sort of worried about is maybe rust in the crack at a later date, but we'll try and blow a bit of paint in there and try and uh, seal it up as best we can. Our decision now is just to leave the window on and uh, grind this back and see what we can uh, do about welding it up. I just masked up the window to make sure that we didn't get any damage to the uh, to the rubber or the glass while we uh, ground it back. So we're going to get in now and uh, and weld that up. That is some very very ugly welding in there. Now I need to get in there with a the grinder and uh, and a flat disc and knock that all back. Hopefully, uh, if any of you try this, uh, you can do better welding than me because that's terrible. Okay, so that is now all ground back. Um, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever done, but uh, next step is to mask the rest up properly and get a bit of body filler in there. So I just rough the whole area up with a 120 grit sandpaper, and then I give it a nice clean with some wax and grease remover, just make sure I get rid of any contaminants. Now it's time to measure out some body filler onto my mixing board, and then I add the hardener at a ratio of about 50 to one. Now just work them together until you get a nice consistent colour. Now you want to apply a thin layer of body filler onto the panel you're working on. Now you want to make sure you work it backwards and forwards, pushing it deeply into any crevices etc so you don't create any bubbles and just get a nice, thin, even, consistent surface is what you're aiming for. You don't want too much material on there because otherwise you'll be sanding for hours later but you don't want too little where you end up having to put on three coats. I'm just hitting this with a bit of 80 grit now to uh, just uh, lightly knock the top of it off. That's been knocked back with 80. I'm just going to come back over now and knock out those with uh, some 240 grit. Just get rid of the 80 grit scratches out of there. Yeah, then we should be ready to start putting some primer on. Give another clean with some wax and grease remover. Before I actually finish painting it, I've got to mask it up. And I don't want a hard line where I've masked it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soft mask it. And soft masking it is where I've taken the tape and I've folded it over on itself. It means that it'll stick on one edge and it'll be just enough so that a bit of overspray can get underneath and you'll get a softer line than if you gave a hard mask. The easiest way I've found to make your soft mask is to hold the roll slightly twisted as you draw the tape over your leg. These little rolls of uh, tape masking film are really handy. So it's already got the, uh, the tape on the edge of the roll of plastic and you just pull out the strip you need and peel it off. Okay, now we've got our area masked up. Uh, we've got a bit of uh, just uh, primer surface here. Just uh, so we're just going to prime the, uh, the the metal parts, trying to keep the paint away from our edges. Once the primer had dried, 
I dusted over it with a little bit of black paint I had lying around. And that's a guide coat, so it basically gives you a guide, so once you sand it off the black, you know you've sanded it down far enough. Now it's time to hit a bit of colour on, and um, I actually went into Super Cheap, and they made up a spray can with the colour matched to the colour code of this vehicle, which is really, really easy and convenient, and uh, uh, perfect for this application, so let's see how good the match is. I always find, do a nice light coat for the first coat. If you hook it on, you can end up getting um, reactions and things like that. It's much better to just dust the paint on and just do a couple of light dust coats before you uh, build up to your heavy uh, final coats. All right, guys, and uh, I'm master, and it's all it's all done and looking good. The uh, color was a really good match and really easy to blend out on this white, so um, looking good. Let's put it all back together again and uh, get it out of here. All right, guys, and that is it. That is the uh, basic repair of a crack on the back of a Nissan Patrol barn door. Do you think you could tackle it yourself now? Definitely. So now it's I've seen how to do it, and if I had a welder, I could definitely tackle this myself. Um, but even just to sand it back and put some body filler there and paint it on top, it's relatively easy to do. So it's definitely something you can try at home. And thanks for watching. And also, guys, if you want to see some cool full drive related content, uh, go and check out Eddie's channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, but as always, please like and subscribe. All right, see you guys.